It all began in 4000 BC. The Mesopotamian Jews ziggurat as observatories to observe the sun, moon, and planets. Although the Egyptians were different from the Mesopotamians, the Egyptians developed their own calendar to be used for predicting the Nile flood and aligning the temples and the monuments. In 24 BC, the Stonehenge happened. The stones faced northeast and the stone aligned for eclipses and sunrise. In the Chinese society, they recorded eclipse and meteor showers on the Dunhuang map. In 585 BC, Thales predicted eclipses and he described the Earth as a cylinder floating in space and along with the stars, moon, and sun being hollow. About 582 BC, Pythagoras developed the model of the solar system. 500 BC, the Babylonians found the planet Synodic period and discovered and measured the longer interval of time needed for the planets to return back to the same position. Aristotle argued that all celestial mo motions must be circular in 384 BC through 322 BC. About 310 through 230 BC, he used geometry to find the distance to the moon. About 276 through 198 BC, he used geometry to calculate the size of the Earth. About 190 BC through 125 BC, he discovered a new star in the distance of the sun and the moon. Built buildings and monuments to position to the sunrise and sunset. Made a system that could accurately account for the motions of the planets using a combination for regular circular motion. The Muslims were the first to build observatories that were organized and equipped. 1473 through 1543, he proposed the fully developed heliocentric model of the solar system. In 1546 through 1601, he was the first scientist to understand the value of multiple observations of the same event. Galileo, 1564 through 1642, found that the moon had mountains, valleys, and plains like the Earth does. Kepler discovered the mathematical relationship between the distances of the planets. Newton invented differential and integral calculus, discovered things about gravity, motion, and the orbits of the planets, and had his three laws of motion. In 1676, Edmund Haley had a comet named after him and cataloged 341 southern hemisphere stars and discovered a star cluster somewhere in the universe. In 1915, Einstein extended the theory of relative effects on gravitation. In 1922, Niels Bohr accepted the Nobel Prize in Physics for atomic structures. In 1925, Heisenberg discovered the holotropic forms of hydrogen. In 1925, Edwin Hubble measured the distances and motions of the galaxy and created the Hubble Telescope. Also known as the father of Big Bang, he believed a force was holding gravitational form. In 1914, Robert calculated the mass of uranium. In 1950, Fred Hoyle was known for the theory of stellar nucleosynthesis. In 1964, they proved and identified a light that was released from atoms formed 3,000 years ago to show that the Big Bang Theory existed.
1969, Armstrong and Aldrin were the first humans to walk on the moon.